let me come to the next part which is the measurement part. So, we are working on the fourth part now, we talked about the types of research, we talked about the types of data, we talked about the objectives, finding the objective and just reaching to univariate, bivariate, multivariate and I told you that not two variables it means bivariate, bivariate requires two words, one is difference, second is relation. Uh, by the way, both are the same, both have the same meaning, I will come to that, but first try to understand measurement. Uh, maybe at some time or other you might have gone through these four words, nominal, ordinal, interval and ratio. People have uh, different understanding of it, the books explain it in detail and uh, the more confusion is it. What is your understanding of it? whatever you have gone through because uh, I was stuck in it for years, then I will share you my understanding, but what do you understand by nominal ordinal? Sir, nominal is one uh, where we cannot rank one over other, like hmm. male, female. Like male, female, correct. Great, beautifully explained. Uh, if I ask question like this, is it nominal, ordinal or interval? Interval. It is interval. Right, okay. Nominal measurement is one. First tell me, let me tell you what is measurement. We know one thing is called as the question we ask a question and generally the questions are of two types, it is open ended and close ended, you know that, open ended is uh, respondent will answer, open ended are again of two types, it is called uh, where the quantitative response is seek or qualitative, qualitative response is something like uh, write about Delhi in 200 words, that is a qualitative, we do not apply many statistical tool techniques over it, we can just find out how many times good word was there, content analysis and it is something like what is your age. The answer can be anything, but it is a numeric number. Closed ended, the most common is MCQ. So, here I am saying there is a question and the question may contain certain categories. Am I correct with this nomenclature? This in the morning I called as a variable and the category or questions and the category. This is the question, these are the answer provided. Measurement is not any of them. Measurement is the what the person will reply to here and what inference we can take out of it. That is called as the measurement. Please try to understand. This is a question and these are the probable answer and person will answer anything, none of them is a measurement. Measurement is what the people will answer and what inference we can draw out of their answers, this is called as inference, this is called as the measurement and it works with the common sense, the thing will come directly wrong, then it means it is wrong. For example, if the example she has given gender male and female, A said I am male like tick B said I am female. Can I say A is more than B? Does it make sense? No, okay. This is qualification UG, PG, PhD. A said I am here, B said I am here and C said I am here. Can I say C is more qualified than A and B? Make sense? This is ordinal, this is nominal. It is not about the questions. Do you see that? If I will write simply 2, now what is the difference between the 2? What is the difference between the 2? It is again a binary, binary means it is a formatting, a question with the 2 answers, a question with the 2 answers, both are the same, apparently both are the same, but when the people will reply, what sort of inference we can draw out of it, that is measurement. Do you get it? Not sure. See, you tell me, it is as simple as that, can I say A is more than B? 
does not make sense now what in what terms a is more than b, but here can I say b is more qualified than a ok. It means this this is a ordinal remember order means ascending or descending order this is a ordinal measurement and this is a nominal measurement nominal is if we simply say you belong to this category that is it a is a male and that is it nothing more than that. Here we can just find out more inferences out of it that this is more qualified than this. So, if it is you know to be decided case by case basis it is not like looking at it we can say this is nominal ordinal like marital status married unmarried nominal, nominal or ordinal nominal. Nominal. nominal number of kids up to 2, 2 to 5, 5 to 7 ordinal, ordinal. ordinal. experience ordinal. 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 ordinal right the place you belong to Delhi, Jaipur, Agra nominal. nominal. So, we will see case to case. So, we will talk about two things here one is the formatting of the question which I am saying MCQ or binary. MCQ means one question three four answers binary means one question only two answers. So, one is the formatting of the questions no MCQ or this second is measurement measurement need to be taken separately. Now, third is interval in the interval like she said we talk about ok here PhDC can I say whatever the difference of A and B is there B and C has the same difference does it make sense no. So, it is a simply ordinal one right take the example of this temperature on the same day and at the same time temperature was noted in the three cities it comes out like this. Now, check out my inferences my inference is temperature of A is more than that of B and C temperature of A is more than that of B and C am I correct ok temperature of B is more than C whatever the difference between A and B is there the same is the difference between B and C does it make sense yes. if it makes sense it is interval measurement. Now, come back to the question of age A said I am here B said I am here C said I am here can I say C is elder to A and B yes. B is elder to A yes. whatever the difference between B and C is there the same is the difference of A B. may not be may not be ok by the way uh, can you tell me what is the age of A where, where comes nominal see it is ordinal ordinal is ok this is more this is more ordinal simply says more or less right interval specifies how much more how much less. So, in this case like it makes sense 1 degree and 1 degree. So, it is interval, but here in this case like if I ask the question again what is your age A may reply my age is 8 years B may reply I am 11 years and C may reply I am 19 years right. Now, will they tick to the same if there is age is some A will tick on this B will tick on this and C will tick on it if you know this. Now, can you conclude whatever the difference between A and B is there same that to B of C? No, you cannot guarantee all we can say is all we can say is C is elder to A and B this is ordinal measurement I know where your mind is tricking 0 to 10, 10 to 20 this is ordinal this is interval what else is interval this is interval scale I am asking you interval measurement where you are struck is you are taught in continuous class 0 to 10, 10 to 20 it is interval correct it is a class interval lower limit upper limit width of the class it is a that it is not interval measurement interval measurement think of the temperature when the difference between the two is same as that of between the two and you say it makes sense it does not make sense you cannot give guarantee. So, you cannot say there is no objection I hope there is no objection when you say B is elder to A no objection to anybody whatever will be the age of A or B is there am I correct. So, it, it is simply the ordinal measurement not interval measurement ah, please.